I have a special guest this time with us, Matt's Baribu. Hi, Matt. How's it going? Let's go see what the show is about. Let's find out what drifters dig beside drift cars and uh, let's see if they will let him drift any of these cars. This thing stands out in a show and it's just one of these things that we're just wanting to get more info on. The base is a World War II Bren gun carrier, universal carrier. The power, we have a Chevy small block, so it's running about 200 horsepower, powering a turbo 350 transmission. I think I got about $2,000 into the whole build, or $2,500, somewhere in there. If you had a chance to take it for a spin, where would you take it? I don't think there'd be anything that would limit you. You could go anywhere. So this is another car I found that I really thought Matt's would like. A lot of similarities from the drift cars. Um, that we see in the pro circuit. You know, running the same calipers that we run, uh, the Willwood calipers on this car. We've definitely, we've run up against Mad Mike and FD with the Miata. And I tell you, they're, they're small, nimble, fast cars. The feedback as a driver inside a Miata is, is basically an oversized go-kart. So we found another drifter. This is Riley Sexsmith. I remember from yeah. Shannonville, when in the rain, like my first event ever, being chased by you in your like pro car and I was in my little pickup truck. Must be scary. Well hopefully we get to meet up again and get our Shannonville battles oh, back at it. I guess the battle of the beards is yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. For the first time in seven years professional drifting is coming back to Ontario and uh... I'm excited. It's a new track for everybody. It's a level playing field. Nobody has an advantage. Really steep banks, really tight, tight, tight. track. So I'm excited. Another car that I really wanted to show you is the Radical cars. They're amazing track cars ready to go and I have Robert here off Radical Canada and he will gladly tell us all about it. So this is a uh, Radical sports car, specifically uh, an SR3 RSX. So this is kind of our newest model. Uh, the styling is evocative of an LMP2 car or LMP1 car, something you'd see in, you know, running at Le Mans or in the WeatherTech series. I think it's time to get you in it and to hear what, yeah. you, what does it feel like. This thing feels fast just sitting in it. So the main question really is, uh, is it driftable? Absolutely. Definitely not. So now we brought uh, Mats to the section we really like. This is Nick, the president of the club. Mats drifts a Toyota Chaser. Toyota Chaser. Yeah, very rare for the drifting scene in North America. Nick drives a kick-ass BMW. Well, if he's got four doors on the M3... Oh. <laughs> guys throw amazing shows. They take you to the War Museum in Hamilton, and you can take pictures of you know, these cool planes, and they always have beautiful models at their shows. Maybe Toyota Chaser needs a club like that. Maybe we'll have to try and get the rival going. And <laughs> until then, I'm going to bring tires to the next meet. And There's a good meat vendor over there. I got some salami, so that was good. What do you prefer in terms of meat? Salamis <laughs> or pepperoni's good. Pepperoni's, pepperoni's good. good. Yeah. Formula Drift <laughs> might be missing this whole, uh, you know, '30s gangster shoot a Tommy gun as you're taking the first corner. I'm sure this thing sideways with uh, some good angle and tire smoke would be pretty gangster. 